you remember quite a while ago now we unboxed this Hoover Constellation 867 Revision A. Well, turns out, sadly, actually, due to some circumstances with the person who bought it, it's now mine. He doesn't want it anymore. Yeah, I apologise profusely. Thanks me for all my work. Shift for all work. And etc. So it's now ours, for want of a better word. He won't dwell on that. But he's also done, and because it's done, it needs an after video. So let's have a look at what came out of the box originally, and then work out what the extra stuff is that I have to go with it. Let's have a look. Hello, my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this is a very nice example of a Hoover Constellation actually. The actual Hoover Constellation itself isn't the reason that it's actually quite nice. No, neither are the ones with, we will note, one one being genuine Hoover and the other one doesn't. The genuine Hoover ones always have, where are we, Hoover embossed. On that clip there there we go that whereas the pattern ones don't but equally a wand is a wand now what makes this quite nice to use is actually this hose this is a pattern hose obviously hoover never made non-stretchy non-hoover flex hoses for the constellation which is also exactly the same design as we've got with my Nexus 330 if you remember i'll pop a photo up here or here or somewhere to show you yeah exactly the same style hose yeah it's this hose that makes it really quite nice because the machine will follow you around much better than with the stretchy stretchy hose as for the vacuum itself it is in minty mint condition 1980 or 82 I, I can't remember now but a late style so we have the white switch on the front that you can see which you know is a lot more reliable than the old style toggle switches which are all starting to go a little bit gummy nowadays you've got to fire them through with great cleaner we have a very robust rear cord exit I, I don't know if it's genuine or not I've never seen a star like it but equally crikey it's still on there normally if that was an original 60s one it would just be snapped right off nice sandy glowy beigey cable to go with our sandy glowy orange machine and look a beautiful can't focus electra there we go an electra plug all very nice all very polished all working remarkably well underneath is probably the least scratched constellation i've ever seen here we go look here's the number yeah 1980 i was right very clean and tidy inside is also clean and tidy and will stay that way because I fitted a HEPA phone. This isn't, I don't think, the original filter that this would have come with, but it's a very nice clean replacement and that will do. Yeah, here's your HEPA filter. It's simply, and oh, oh, ah, oh, everything's falling out. This is perhaps a downside of doing a HEPA, <laughs> a HEPA filter, but I guess you wouldn't be messing around doing it in real life would you yeah you take off the rubber bung that normally sits on here and you push the bag on oh so there fits on quite nicely then you sort of chuck it around here so that when you put the lid down it'll all open up around it and that's how you have to flow a hoover constellation and crikey we got some test dirt there it is <gasps> Missing screw for my Electrolux Turbomatic Z380. Ah, oh, that, that, that was worth doing. Excellent. Well, we have some test dirt to clean up now. So, let's plug it in and we'll show you how it runs. This test dirt is also quite handy. It happens to be constructed off bits of the machine, all the wire ends and stuff that happen when you refurbish one of these. So, yes, it sounds... Very nice indeed. It does float okay, not especially well on this rug, but float it does. Yeah, this hose is just brilliant. It's completely airtight.
bless it, it just digs in really easily to this rug. But yeah, this hose makes it really, really nice to use. It doesn't make it really nice to use, is the lack of a floor head. Now obviously as if you're a collector of vintage vacuums you may know genuine Hoover Constellation floor heads do not grow on trees anymore. So we have to improvise and I went and found oh, I'd actually just you know, five or six years up a few generations, mid 80s we'd have started to see these. We'll bang a contour head on it. Oh yeah. He doesn't like this rug. But it does like this rug a lot better than my earlier style. And again, this, this would have been for sale. Maybe, as you know, 81, 82. Either way, the brushes oh, sit down higher on this. So it's not actually as nice to use. You can see there the brushes are getting caught. They're getting caught by the fibres. However, oh, due to the magic of custom adapters in 2022, we can do things like simply plug a mirror floor head straight in. And again, this is one of their 80s ones. Oh. A bit blasphemous, isn't it? But, oh. You can just hear the air flow. If this still doesn't take your fancy, oh, ah. Hang on, I've taken the adapter off the top of the head. try a mirror universal seal or spot a pattern here this adapter is only 35 mil Ooh. now this head is designed to be used with the you know, EU lower wattage style heads so it is very nice and makes most of the airflow although this thing has literally no airflow compared to an actual mirror and we can test that Well, it's a bit of a loose fit for my adapter. Stop. Yeah. Bless it, fierce airflow is not its forte, which is why they never came with a turbo head. And obviously that's with this one's rubber seals being a thousand percent beautiful and everything in between. So I think we'll stick with the black contour head, I quite like that head. But what about the small tools? Now this is where things get interesting because I had a clear out while sorting this out and because we have a non-genuine hose and a non-genuine one, well I also found, look, a non-genuine crevice tool. Hoover ones never had that little bulge there and there's no Hoover roundel on it at all. It is completely and utterly Bojack! And it's lovely. What else do we have? I have this Bojack and it was actually very, very mouldy and has been in bleach for many, many days. And the dusting brush look, I mean the bristles sadly have paint on them, but it's really, really quite nice. It's very soft, very, very industrious. Suits the machine very well indeed and is nice to use. And in fact, you may as well pull this over. Look, for the last two, I, I, I have this again, it's not genuine. It is a little wall slash upholstery brush. I mean, I, I'd hesitate to call it a floor brush, it's certainly far too big for that. But yeah, we have that. And look, a clone of the White Hoover upholstery tool, but it has fabric bristles. 
rather than rubber ones. And again, no hoover roundel stamped on the top. How lovely is this? Our little hoover, bless it, that has lost its original tools along the way can now have a nice set of non-genuine, non-original, but still perfectly sensible, you know, this is this is how it was back in the 1980s when your old hoover fell apart because, you know, these plastic clips snaps off the wands or the coating falls off or the hose splits and you can't change it because it's glued on. All the things that sharks suffer from nowadays did used to happen back in the olden day, you know, olden days of yore with machines like this. I guess it's nothing new. So this one, oh whatever, has a nice complete-ish, it's only borrowing this head, bird poo on it, has a nice complete toolkit once more and yeah I guess we'll find something to do with it because it is very nice, you know, I, I am very pleased and honoured to have it. Um, now we have it, we should keep it around for a little bit because it's a very nice example of a Hoover constellation. So yeah, comment down below. Do you have a constellation with, or any Hoover with period correct but non-genuine tools? Do let me know down below. But until next time, I and this Hoover will see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>